What five watches would you buy for five grand? How would you split your budget? Welcome to our new series of Five for Five. My job is to take £5,000 and recommend five new watches in five categories. These will be dive, field, dress, chronograph and pilot. Before we kick off spending £5,000 of my British pounds, it's worth bearing in mind that I'm only looking at new watches. So this not insubstantial amount of money has effectively ruled out all Rolex, most Omega and IWC. So join me now for my 5 for 5 chronograph watches. Except for a day and date function, the chronograph is probably the most common complication in our tool watches today. For sure, watch enthusiasts of a certain demographic will own one or more, which is odd because I wager it's a complication that we hardly ever use. I openly admit that I have several chronograph watches, and other than idly passing a second while I'm waiting for a train or stuck in traffic, I never push the top button for any serious reasons, whereas I do use a time-elapsed dive bezel to measure how long I've got left on a parking ticket. Nevertheless, the chronograph represents enormous complexity, and if you're lucky enough to get sight into the movement of an Omega Speedmaster or a Breitling Navitimer, it's really very impressive. So despite the never inevitability that you may buy a chronograph watch and hardly ever use the function, they remain one of the most popular genres. And here is my 5 for 5. Zin 356 SA Pilot at £2,850. As we saw in a previous 5 for 5 on field watches, Zins are exceptionally well made, beautifully legible watches with a very distinct and recognisable DNA. The 356 is a neatly packaged 38.5mm super high quality chronograph which both feels and looks distinctly superior. As with all Zins, there's a bit of an old-fashioned vibe going on, and I don't mean classic or vintage here, I mean old-fashioned, as the models never seem to evolve, but that doesn't stop them being great watches, and they're really high quality and have a devout fan base. They're not cheap, and arguably they have the worst website in the world, but when you get past all that and strap one on, it just feels like a brilliant, indestructible tool watch. Seiko Prospect Speed Timer, £600. In 1969, Seiko introduced the Seiko Speed Timer with their Calibre 6139. It was the world's first automatic chronograph with a column wheel and vertical clutch, which delivered significant improvements in the measurement of elapsed time. The current Prospect Speed Timer range starts at around £600 and moves upwards to a budget-busting 5K. The latest iteration of the Speed Timer is a beautiful watch, especially with the white dial and bold dark indices. But for me, the greatest innovation, whilst keeping the watch sympathetic to the 1960s original, is is the advent of solar power, taking energy from both natural and artificial light. However horrifying it may seem to some, I'm a great advocate of solar power in watches, and with Tag Heuer developing the solar graph, I don't see why the premier brands can't adopt this power. While Seiko have of course retained automatic models true to the original, the solar speed timer typifies to me how beautiful you can make a watch with this innovative power source. Bulova Lunar Pilot Apollo 15 at about £470. There's almost nothing new for me to say about this fantastic watch because I've written about it so many times in the Watch Gecko magazine and made so many videos that inevitably I'll repeat myself. Pound for pound, it's the best space NASA watch on the market today and in so many ways blows the Omega Speedmaster into a wormhole. The original Bulova chronograph was the only moon landing watch that was designed for purpose and whilst there are significant technical differences between the commercially available model and the one that Dave Scott actually wore on Apollo 15, it is true to the original and you get the benefit of having not only a watch that looks like the one the astronaut wore, but as a bonus, there's a super quartz movement which is blisteringly accurate to plus or minus 10 seconds a year. If I'd had a 5 for 5 space watches, this would have been number one, and it's absolutely one of the best chronographs you can buy for not a huge amount of money. Boulder Venture Field Medic 2 at £299. We're the exclusive Boulder stockers for the UK, and I make no apology for including this watch in the chronograph range. It's brilliant, and if you know anyone in the medical field, especially frontline staff or military medics, this is potentially serious kit for them. This is a chrono with a difference, and as such, Boulder should be applauded for creating it. I'm not just going for blatant commercialism like most other brands do. The watch is specifically calibrated to measure pulse rates and respiratory counts on an outer dial. To use the scales, you simply start the chronograph and count the specified number of beats, stopping the chronograph at the corresponding mark and taking a reading. The central seconds hand will now be pointing to the accurate medical measurement in counts per minute. The case of the Venture Field Medic is made from ultralight, yet incredibly strong titanium, with a non-reflective satin finish. At 38mm wide and 12.2mm thick, the watch is unobtrusive on the wrist and perfect for any user. Like all Ventures, it offers 200 meters water resistance and is powered by a Japanese Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz chronograph movement, so reliability will never be an issue. Casio F91W for round about £8. 
Before you start screaming at the screen, yes, I know this is not a chronograph in the true sense of the word, but it sort of does what a chronograph does in that I can record time within hundreds of a second and all for the princely sum of probably under £10. The Casio F91W is an icon in every sense of the word, and I fundamentally believe no watch collection is complete without one. For many of us, it was our first watch and therefore holds a very special place in our hearts. It's a defining watch for one of the biggest manufacturers in the world because the gentleman who cut his teeth on it went on to become the full-time designer for G-Shock, and we all know what wonders they come up with. So if you'll excuse this odd addition, the Casio F91W is probably the cheapest quality chronograph on the market today. As with the other five for fives, I've included a couple of good alternatives which didn't quite make it into the top tier. First is the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch, which pre-owned can be found for just under 5k. I'm sure it's in the script somewhere that I'm allowed to break the rules just once. I am, yes? Yes, film crew is nodding, I can. The Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch is one of my favourite horological creations of all time, and I believe is probably the finest tool watch ever to have graced the Earth or any other celestial body. The problem is, they're really expensive, but if you source through some more reputable pre-owned providers, like Vintage Speedmaster, you can find the occasional beautiful example that will almost wipe out your budget, but leave you just enough money for a map of the moon that you can look at and wonder how mankind and that watch eventually got there. The next model that didn't quite make it into the top five is the Fera Chrono Contempo. The two Chrono Contempo models are named after famous streets in London, synonymous with vibrant colours, the Chalcot and the Portobello. You'll see why Fera chose those names if you just Google the streets. Both watches are a three-dial tri-compacts design set aside from the norm by including a big eye minute dial. The range has bi-directional ceramic 12-hour bezels which can be used to monitor a second time zone and, depending on your choice, are either nicely integrated into the watch or the main colour element. Watch proportions are neat, which bodes well for sales. The dimensions are on point with a diameter of 38.5mm, lug to lug of 43.7mm and a thickness of 13.4mm. A standard design element is upturned ski slope lugs which provide visual interest and a nicely alternate shape on your wrist. The textured dials maintain aesthetic appeal across the entire watch face. Inside both models beats a manually wound Solita SW510M elaborate movement. The Fairer just didn't quite make it into my top five, but it's certainly a worthy alternate choice because it nicely represents the state of play of the British watch industry today. It's bold, it's full of character, and with a superb future ahead of it. So there you have my top five chronograph watches, and I'm sure you'll excuse the wild card of the sub £10 Casio F91W. Join me for the next 5 for 5 video, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon for some more watch chat.